What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be replacing the capacitors on my FIC VA503 Plus Retro Build. If you'll recall from this video, I needed to replace some capacitors on this board. And that's what we're going to do today. You can see we've got several leaking here all around the board. Before we get started, I want to run over a quick polarity for you. Generally speaking, you're going to see a bar like this or like this on the side that designates the negative terminal. You're also going to see that negative is, has a shorter pin. As you can see. So be sure that you do get these put back in the same position that you take them out of if you're going to replace caps on your boards or anything else. So first things first, what I'm going to be looking for is that negative lead on each one of these capacitors. You'll see on this one, they're both facing the same way, pointing this direction. On these two, they're pointing out. These four here, they're all pointing towards this side of the board. And looks like that's all we're going to have to replace. The rest of them look good. We'll find out once we're done if anything else is going to need to be replaced. So one down. Now what I like to do here is this way I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. I'm going to go ahead and replace the two capacitors I just took out. This way I know exactly which way I want to put them back in and keep track of what I've done and what I've not done. The negative lead. These were pushed out like this facing out the back of the board. So I'm going to push this through. Use a little bit of flux. What I've done here is I've just basically got a little bit too much solder on this pin, so I'm trying to take some of it off now. Now we're going to go for these capacitors next. I noticed in this capacitor right here, you may not be able to see it, but I noticed there's some electrolyte on the board, 
So what I'm going to do is get a little isoprofenol or rubbing alcohol and clean up this, uh, this, this row of, of capacitors just to be on the safe side. I also noticed that this has got a lot of dust or some kind of corrosion, I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's dust. I'm going to go ahead and get that cleaned up while I'm in here too. Okay, so uh, before I get it flipped back over, I'm going to go ahead and cut off these legs. Sorry for that noise. That's uh, a fan I got blowing the solder away from me. All I'm going to use is a little isoprofenol and a Q-tip. Okay, so now I've got this all cleaned up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and start putting in these replacement capacitors. It's working to keep the hot air going and keep the uh, soldering iron up. So is that the iron? This is the solder. This is the hot air. The hot air that um. Yep. This helps melt the solder. Melt the solder? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Does that mean like allow it to flow? Yes. How much are left? Uh, this is my last one, I think. Making sure that I've not uh, uh, missed any of these that need to be replaced. What's inside that, Daddy? This is flux. This helps keep your contacts clean. And then we're good to go. Hopefully, we'll see. And then we might be able to play some old school games. Maybe. That's cool. How to stick in. Mm -hmm. All caps are done. Uh, so now what we need to do is just test it. Now, all I'm going to do is plug up memory, video card, and a monitor, uh, and power supply, of course. Let's just see if it comes on. Now, one thing I should say is I'm not 100% sure on the jumpers. Not researched it at all, so uh, I'm just going by the board and hoping that uh, I've got it right. If not, man, we may have some problems, but we'll get that figured out then. no post. So what I'm going to have to do is a little more research and figure out uh, where the problem could be. It's probably in the jumper settings, but uh, I'm just not 100% sure. It could be other problems with the board, but uh, at least it's come to life, so that's a, that's a good sign. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back up, do some research on these jumper settings and see if I can get this system to post. We'll be back. Okay everyone, so I finally found the correct jumper settings and let's see what we can do. Energy 
star logo. Got our memory counting. And there we are. But I would consider that capacitor replacement a success. I hope you like this video. And if you want to follow the progress of this build, as well as some of our other videos, please click that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day. Well, I would consider that capacitor replacement a success. I hope you like this video. How oh, stupid thing. Why do you got to be so noisy? Take you apart and rip your fan out.